Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow shaded uh, square DEFG fully confined in a right triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this diagram, such that uh, the side length of this uh, right triangle ABC is uh, 111 units, whereas the area of this uh, triangle ABC has been given to us as uh, 8,214 square units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded uh, square. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, yellow shaded uh, square DEFG. Let's assume this uh, side length uh, of this uh, square is uh, X uh, units. And we know all of these uh, side lengths of the square are uh, equal. So therefore, uh, this side length is going to be x, uh, this side length is x, uh, and likewise, this side length is going to be x uh, units as well. And now our task is uh, to calculate the value of side length uh, x before we could calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded uh, square. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABC. And we know it's uh, this uh, side length uh, is 111. And we are interested uh, in calculating uh, this side length uh, BC. And now let's recall the area of a triangle uh, formula. Area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height. And the area of this triangle uh, ABC has been given to us uh, as uh, 8214. And this uh, side uh, is the height uh, of uh, this uh, triangle ABC, whereas uh, this uh, side is going to be the base uh, of this triangle. So therefore, we are going to fill in the blanks in this uh, triangle formula. So our area of the triangle is uh, 8214 equals to a half times uh, our base uh, is uh, BC length times uh, our height uh, is 111. And now we can write this thing as uh, 8214 uh, equals to 111 divided by 2 times uh, BC length. And now I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 divided by 111 on this side and 2 divided by 111 on both sides uh, to isolate BC. And here we can see 111 and 111 are gone. 2 and 2 is gone as well. So therefore, uh, BC length uh, is going to be equal to, if we multiply and simplify this uh, left-hand side, that is going to give us uh, 148. So thus our, uh, this uh, side length uh, BC turns out to be 148 uh, units. And now let's focus once again on this right triangle uh, ABC. We know this side length uh, of this uh, triangle is 111. This uh, side length uh, is uh, 148. And now our task is uh, to calculate uh, this uh, hypotenuse uh, length. And now let's recall the Pythagorean triplets, uh, 3, 4, and 5. And now we are going to multiply each and every number of these uh, triplets uh, by 37. And as a result, uh, we got a new set of triplets, uh, 111, 148, uh, and 185. By just multiplying 37 times 3, 37 times 4, and 37 times uh, 5. And now we can see our this leg is uh, 111, this leg is 148. So therefore, uh, this hypotenuse uh, AC is going to be 185 units. And now let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, the sum of these two angles, alpha plus beta, must be equal to 90 degrees. Let's assume that this uh, angle is uh, alpha. We know this angle is 90 degrees. So therefore, this angle has got to be our angle beta. And now we know that this angle is 90 degrees. This angle is beta. So therefore, this angle has got to be angle alpha. And for this uh, right triangle, this angle is alpha. 
this angle is uh, 90 degrees so therefore this angle has got to be our angle beta and finally we know this angle is 90 degrees this angle is beta so therefore this angle has got to be our angle uh, alpha and we know this angle is 90 degrees so therefore uh, this angle has got to be our angle uh, beta so therefore we conclude that this uh, small right triangle uh, ABD and this uh, big uh, right triangle uh, ABC are uh, similar triangles according to angle angle uh, similarity theorem so therefore we are going to have a proportion so therefore we are going to have a ratio of uh, B E and D E side lengths and that is going to be equal to the ratio of uh, side lengths B C and uh, A C and now we can see our this uh, D E length uh, is uh, X so I'm going to replace this one by X this uh, B C length uh, is uh, this uh, 148 so I'm going to replace this one by 148 uh, over here and finally our this uh, AC length uh, the high party news uh, is 185 so I'm going to replace 185 over here as you can see in this uh, next step and now let's focus on the right hand side if we divide both uh, sides by 37 and this one by 37 this simply reduces to 4 divided by 5 and now I'm going to multiply both sides by X uh, to isolate uh, B and here we can see X and X is gone so our uh, B E length uh, turns out to be 4 X uh, divided by 5 and I'm going to label this one as our equation uh, number 1 and here's our next step we can see that this uh, right triangle uh, EFC and this uh, other uh, big triangle uh, ABC both are uh, similar triangles as well according to angle angle similarity theorem so therefore we are going to have proportions once again so therefore we're going to have a ratio of uh, side lengths uh, EC and EF and that is going to be equal to the ratio of uh, AC over AB and now let's make an observation we can see this uh, EF uh, length uh, is x so i'm going to replace this one by x this uh, ac length uh, is 185 so therefore i'm going to replace this one by 185 and finally this uh, ab side length uh, is 111 so i'm going to replace it by 111 over here as you can see in this uh, next step and now on the right hand side we can reduce uh, this uh, fraction by dividing uh, both sides by 37 and that is going to reduce to 5 divided by 3 and now I'm going to multiply both uh, sides uh, by x to isolate EC and here we can see x uh, and x is gone so therefore uh, our EC length uh, turns out to be 5x uh, divided by 3 I'm going to label this one as our equation uh, number two. So thus we are ended up with these uh, two equations number one and two. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this whole uh, side length uh, BC equal to the sum of these uh, two individual lengths uh, BE and uh, AC as you can see in this given equation. And we know our BC length is 148 this is our uh, BE length and this is our uh, AC length so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation so 148 uh, equals to 4 X uh, divided by 5 plus uh, 5 X uh, divided by 3 and now we can see the least common denominator for these uh, denominators is going to be 15 so therefore I'm going to multiply by 15 uh, across the board uh, to remove these uh, fractions. If we multiply these 115 times 148 that is going to give us 2220 equals to if we multiply this thing uh, that is going to give us uh, 12x uh, plus this is going to give us uh, 25x. Uh, and now we are going to combine these uh, like terms that is going to give us uh, 37 X uh, equals to 2220 
and now we are going to divide both sides by 37 to isolate x so therefore our x value turns out to be 60 units so thus the side length of this yellow square turns out to be 60 units and now we are going to calculate the area of this yellow square and now let's recall the area of a square formula area equal to s square where s represents the side length so therefore uh, the area of this uh, yellow shaded square is going to be our side length is 60 so this is going to be 60 whole uh, square and if we simplify the area of this uh, yellow square turns out to be 3600 uh, square units so thus the area of this uh, yellow shaded square turns out to be 3600 uh, square units Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.